We are having leftovers of leftovers today, but that's a delicious casserole that we get to eat. And you guys, Robbie touched basis with me today. She's one of our longtime viewers. Her and her husband are in town for a few days from back east. Yes, indeed. Hope they're enjoying the better weather we are having here, although we did have some rain. Anyway, the one thing I said to her is, if we meet up, I get to interview you. So you guys stay tuned and let's get this day started. Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Man, you guys, March has flown by. I can't believe it's going to be Easter. I can't believe it's gonna be April already. The weather changes very fast here. We have a few weeks of spring and then boom, summer hits. We will have been here uh, April 22nd. We moved into this house in 2013. So we will have been here uh, 10 well, years. Nine, 10 years. Come 10 years. 2023, yeah. Yes, 2023, April April, yeah. th April 22nd, You're which right. is my sister Jill's birthday. And uh, you guys, I can't believe time has flown. So you guys, Robbie and her husband are in town just for a few days and they wanted to know if they can meet up with us. I said, sure, but one thing is, I get to do a chat with you, interview you, and um, put that on our video because I think it's very important to interview normal, ketogenic, low-carb, ketovore, carnivore folks, right? I love the interviews with all the doctors and all the experts because we glean a ton of information, but I think you can also glean a lot of information, get tips and tricks in the lifestyles of all of us that are are having a ketogenic lifestyle. So I think that's very important as well, bringing that to all of you. Now, on that respect, if you live in the Arizona area, remember when we first started doing this, we had that zombie apocalypse, lockdown virus, all of the restrictions and stuff. Most of those I think are totally gone, at least at this point in time. So if you live you know, in the Phoenix area, um, send me an email. I want you to find a Starbucks near where you're at because Harry and I don't still don't know the areas. We want to come to you, see where the areas are and all of that. Maybe set up a few every month to interview someone. If you come into town, you give me enough notice, we can set something up like that because I think it's very important to share a little bit of information on what other people are doing besides the doctors and the experts. Just plain old ordinary folks like me Yes, indeed. So you guys, leave a comment below. Do you guys think that's a great idea? Are you enjoying these? Also, exactly two weeks from today, we are done with our 90-day OMAD challenge. And I'm kind of glad that that is over and done with. Not that I'm not minding the OMAD 24-hour fasting. It's just, I think I would like to have been less restrictive on that because occasionally we've met people or gone somewhere and I have not been able to have something other than in my feasting window. Now, saying that all the challenges and things we have done, what would you guys like to see next? Now, I know Anita just did a lovely uh, 72 hour sardine fast from Dr. Boz. I know a lot of people are doing, you know, the BBBE and all the other ones. What would you guys like to see us do for, for a month, for the month of April? I kind of would like to, would you like me to do and your carb confusion. Would you like me to do one whole week of nothing but keto chow, right? Uh, Harry and I were talking about that too. We've never done a long keto chow uh, uh, regime. Would that be something you guys would like to see us do? Um, let us know. You know, would you like us to do like a three-day sardine fast, hit a, a seven-day or two-week uh, keto chow fast, something like that that we could do for everyone. So you guys leave me comments down in the comments below um, and we'll see. We'll see what people would like us to do and we'll go from there. Anyway, you guys, we have got to break our fast today. It is uh, t after 12, so I'm a little behind, but you guys, basically, this made a huge casserole. 
and it's a very filling, very hearty, and so delicious, wasn't it, Harry? Oh, man, I mean, it, so good. it's a great casserole. It's so good. It's a great casserole. That's it. Mmm. Yep. So we're going to cut ourselves a nice big hunk of this. And we're going to eat that. And then, oh, that's another thing. Um, Robbie did say, could you bring some of your yogurt with you? And I'm thinking, sure I can. And I'm sorry, Teresa, we didn't even think about the yogurt or anything when we came to see you. And I apologize for that. So I'm going to bring her a little sample of that and see what she thinks. So anyway, you guys, I've got to serve this up, nuke it in the microwave, and then we're going to come back and share our dish for today of what we are eating to break our fast. You know what else we've got, Harry? Mm. Now, is this going to be enough or do you want some meat? Because we have, uh, where is it? We have some grass, sliced grass-fed beef sirloin that we got. Oh, Let yeah, me let's see. open that up. We have to open this because, where's the date on this? Oh, yeah. We need to do this. So I'm going to put some of this on the plate, you guys, and we'll share this right now. I'll yeah. share what it looks like. This was at Costco. It's sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. If I turn it over, uh, you just open the pouch, remove the beef and natural juices. You separate the beef into individual slices, and then you preheat a non-stick pan on medium-low heat, add beef slices, turn continuously for 30 seconds to a minute or until desired doneness. So what I'm going to do is open this up and share with everybody. Got this at Costco. I can't remember what I paid for it. It's in the deli section. It's in the same area where the Teton um, Polish dogs are, the artisan cheeses, the crudités, the uh, charcuterie boards, the the deli meats. It's where uh, my healthy noodles are at the one um, Costco that we found them at. That Costco, for those of you who um, I've seen at our Costco off of this I-17, it's the one in Cave Creek off of the 101. So, oh, look, two servings. That's even better. How neat is that? Oh, wow, they got it in, in, they got it in serving sizes, so that that's awesome. Great. So let me get this on a plate. Mmm, that smells good. <laughs> and since we are more rare, and then I'm going to grab the clean scissors behind you because I just washed these last night. We... We wash these every night in the dishwasher, you guys, so. Um, this will be good. Slice this up. We bought this for Arvita, and then we didn't use it, so we need to. Put this in the sink. Wow, look at that. Oops. That's neat. Wow. That fell apart very nice. wow. Oh, look at that. Wow. I'm not even cutting it and it's falling apart. It's great. Now you could take this gravy and um, thicken it and pour it over smashed cauliflower. That would be awesome, right? Yeah. So wow. I'd say this is gonna be tender. I can't tell which oh, way. Oh yeah, the, it does. It looks tender right which now. Which way? Look oops. At that. It's just falling apart. So nice. wow. I'm excited. Wow. Are you? Oh yeah. I just want to heat this up. My little meat brain is loving this right oh. now. Whoa. Oh well, here it's cut. I think that's why. Yeah, it's great. Okay, this is this is wonderful. Ooh, we can have. Ooh, you know what? I gotta make some bread. You know, I wonder if Hot we can roast like, beef I wonder sandwiches. If we can, like, put that in your air dryer. Air fryer. Air fryer. Whatever. No, that air thing over there. Oh, you mean the dehydrator? Dehydrator. Ooh, you know what? That's a great idea. When we come back, let's dehydrate let's some. some meat because look, it's already cut. Because we haven't been able to do it yet. And no, I we haven't. I'd love to do it. Okay, that sounds good to me. Yeah, look, it's already cut. So I'm just going to cut some of this off and then just put some on each one of our plates and just nuke each one. Wow. Yeah, because it's already cooked, right? Yeah, it is. Look, it's just cut. It's got the, see, it's cut 
in pieces. See right here? Yeah. That is really cool. I wasn't even expecting it. It freaked me out a little bit. Yeah. Because I thought, wow, it's falling apart. How much meat do you want? Because I'm doing enough for oh, probably two. About, probably six ounces. About half of like that. that. Well, we're having, um, here, let me do this. Let me put the rest of this on this plate. Now let me get a plate for you and a plate for me. I'll keep one of the plates for you and so I'm not dirtying up another plate. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do here. Yes. And casseroles taste so much better the next day because they've just been sitting in all the deliciousness. Yeah, look at that. Oh. So what I'm going to do oh. is I'm going to cook this first yeah, and okay. then I'm going to put the meat on and heat the meat because yeah. we don't like our meat well done. I know I'm eating, I'm using a lot of plates here, excuse me. Put it all, put both of those on the same plate and cook them on the same plate in the, in the thing. You're so smart. That's why I have you as my sous chef. Look at that. Yes, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Don't go in the jungle. Never go into the jungle. Don't go in the jungle. Okay, I won't go in the jungle. A sous chef said that in a movie. Oh, really? Did he? Yes, but Ooh. at the time he wasn't a sous chef. He oh, was really? something else. Really? Tell me if anybody knows what movie that is from. Okay, I'm going to heat this for about two minutes. And then check them. But you guys, I even have a little bit more left. And uh, we'll come back and put the beef on and then dish it up. Because the beef, we don't want to uh, get the beef too hot because we don't want it to be overcooked. It's the perfect, right there, that's perfect for us. So if you're like we are, I should have taken it out ahead of time and let it get to room temperature so it wouldn't cook as long. But you guys, I'm putting this back in the fridge. How easy was that? Okay. Would you like a grape Waterloo sparkling yeah, water, dear? Yeah, that'd be great. Love the grape. It's a new flavor. Grape. It's yeah, delicious. It's At least it is for us. Do you want a little bit of horseradish? No, of course. For your, that's, for your, that's a given. <laughs> for your delicious steak. All right. Man, guys, I'm excited. Come back in the next segment. We're gonna eat and it's gonna be delicious. Yes, indeed. I'm adding Chef's Blend, my favorite Redmond smoked salt seasoning. Yes, to the steak. And then I'm just gonna nuke it separately because we just want it warmed. We don't need it hot. We just want to warm it up just a tad, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a tad. Yum, it smells delicious in here, doesn't it, Harry? Oh yeah, I'm ready. My stomach's going, Ooh. hey! <sighs> oh yeah, that's hot. Is it? Mm-hmm, the shield of protection. It's going in there. I've got it on 30 seconds, you guys. Yeah, you don't need a whole lot. I think Carrie's got a great idea. I think we're going to bring the dehydrator out tonight and tr start Say dehydrating. Again. Say it again. I, want to I think Harry has a great idea. We're taking that sirloin package and we're going to dehydrate it and see if we can get little pieces of crispiness, deliciousness from our new dehydrator. So we'll do that later when we get back from our interview with Robbie and her husband. Oh man, this smells good. So how much of this do you want? Well, my eyes are really bigger in my stomach right now. Well, uh, here, let me get this. You gotta take some of that off, right? So. Well, I'm, I'm dividing. I know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, just, uh, yeah, take some meat off of there. I am. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. It's gonna oh, be like delicious. Right now. Gosh, look at this. 
This is crazy. I was not expecting this great of a meal, were you? No. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, whoops. Don't hurt yourself, Harry. Okay, have some, just want it on the side. Yeah, just put it right there and I can dip it. Mmm, look at this food. Mm mm mm. Whoa. You guys, look at this grass fed sirloin steak, medium rare, creamed horseradish sauce, and Wendy's delicious creamy chicken casserole from yesterday. Man, does that look good. Anyway, you guys, happy breakfast. We've got to eat now. Yeah. I get to taste this. I'm, I'm trying the meat first because we haven't ever had it. Right. And we're having it basically, ooh, I'm getting a small piece, man, or I'm going to be like... That's good. What do you think? Yep. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Give a taste test. Tell us chewiness, texture, taste. Mm. Tender. Okay, wait. Chirp, chirp. I don't know, I'm moving well. Mm. Mm. It's really tender, super tender. And it tastes fabulous. It tastes like you just cooked it out of oven. Yeah? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. It's okay. Really good. Now let's go after this. Well, we know you like that. Yeah, but it's the second day. Okay. More flavor today. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. This is great. Gotta eat now. Bye. Come on. Okay. Everybody, we are at Starbucks in Chandler and I have Bobby here with me. Say hi, Bobby. Hi, I'm Robbie. Robbie, sorry, <laughs> I said, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It <laughs> is Robbie and I know it's Robbie. No worries. It's the blonde in me, folks. And look, she brought me some beautiful flowers. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, indeed. And she is a longtime viewer. And I told her I would love to meet you. But I want to hear your story. But before we do that, mm -hmm. this time I brought stuff. Oh, goodness. Now, she said, could you bring some of my yogurt? I wanted to taste You it. want to taste the yogurt the and you've never had yogurt. keto chow. Never, never had. So I brought you some <gasps> keto chow, a couple Thank of you. flavors. So I'll share the flavors. This stuff is great. I love this. This stuff's great and everything. I brought oh. bananas. I love banana pancakes I'm telling and you since we don't get to have a lot of bananas yep there you go bananas, it, you get, banana and, flavor. It does, and it smells so good and then my banana pudding egg pudding so good chocolate awesome. got you peanut butter Harry said yes you could have some of his chocolate thank peanut you. butter because I just supplied it I love the peanut butter and then I've got salted caramel <gasps> chocolate toffee my Yay. favorite mm -mm -mm. and I brought eggnog because I'm telling you I like eggnog in this yogurt uh -huh. this is Phenomenal, and the um, yogurt, the the fat bombs that I make with this, and cream cheese. Oh, 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 oh yeah, so good, so I, good. I do love eggnog. So I brought you that. Thank you. Now, are you a yogurt person? Because some people aren't. I usually keep fired. Um, just the Greek yogurt. Just a plain. Plain, okay. and but I I try to doctor it up. Okay. And then um, I use it. I put strawberries okay. when I do berries or okay. something in it, and and it, it is tart. Okay, so <laughs> you're used to yogurt, because some people, mm -hmm. it depends. Yeah. So what I've done is I, I, I preemptively brought some spoons. Oh, great. I didn't know if your husband was coming or if he was staying or well, how we were doing that. Well, he, so. he wanted to, but he ended up sticking, sticking to the hotel. Okay, so I have got the sous vide. 
Uh -huh. And the sous vide is very creamy. Mm -hmm. I, I try to explain to people that the difference between my Instapot and the sous vide is this. If you were to buy Daisy sour cream in a tub, mm -hmm. it's super thick. You can just cut it with a fork and, and I mean, a spoon, it's lop it right down. If you get it in the squeezable container, it's, it's, it's moister and softer. Mm -hmm. And that's about the difference between the sous vide and the Instapot. Now, my Instapot makes it tart, more tart, and the sous vide is more like just eating thick, rich, heavy double cream Ugh. from Europe. So, I with think that, I, know which one. <laughs> I want you to try the, the sweet, I, I call it eat. sweet. Okay first before you go to the Instant Pot because of the sourness of this mm -hmm. one. So I want you mm -hmm. to try, and you are not going to hurt my feelings no. if you do not like it because everybody's different. Cute. It's not like this is something that, you know, so try that and show is... everybody the difference of what I'm talking about. See how creamy oh, the texture that is? is? <gasps> that is almost like heavy cream. If you were to go to Europe and get double heavy cream. Uh, gelato. Yes. It's delicious, and when you put a tablespoon of salted caramel or something in it, now isn't it sweeter? It's not as tart. Mm -hmm. Do you think it is? No, no you're it's used creamy. To the other kind of uh, other one. Which one is it? Faye. Mm -hmm. Faye. Faye. Yeah. So, what is that in comparison to Faye? This is a lot creamier. Yeah. And is. this is fermented delicious. dairy, this is not delicious. yogurt. It doesn't have the same yogurt. Mm -mm. Um, and if you put just a little bit, we'll do that I in a minute. see where you yeah, flavor that. Good. Okay, now very try good. this one. We're going to try this one. Mm. And then we're going to put some of my English toffee drops in it. Wait a minute. Mm. Let me put my drops. Okay. Man, that's good on its own, though. Well, it is. She likes it to is. have it fixed up. I mean, I wouldn't want to eat a whole lot, but just a spoon of something. Oh, yeah. You know how it I, is. at night you're... Yep. Got to do something. And this actually mm -hmm. makes you sleepy at night. Oh, yeah, now, show everybody oh, that. Yeah. And that works like sour cream. Just, I put that on my tacos the other mm -hmm. night when I made that taco max. Much more tart. Yeah. It's more tart. But it's good. And it's thicker. Yeah. I would use this for sour cream. Sour exactly. cream. Exactly. That's what I think. And that for dessert. Now, I want to put, which one do you that want? Some really good like on Mexican food? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like sour cream. Yeah. But you know, it's totally different than I imagined. Uh, is it? Now, what did you imagine? I imagined it'd be super sour. Mm-hmm. Super sour. And I thought that it would be that um, aftertaste you get mm -hmm. sometime from yogurt. Mm -hmm. but None. No aftertaste. None. I just and love I, the tartness of that. To be honest, I'm thinking, wow, I don't know if I'd go through that. All that, uh, even though it seems easy, but go through all that. To, but now I see. I think you I do would. it one time I think with I one would. jar, one quart, and you make forty more mm. as you go. I you, think it'd be each worth, the, one, worth the effort. All you have to do is add the inulin or the uh, acacia root. Now, which one do you want to put some sweetener in? Mm, I'll try the cream. I have to say, my favorite is the sous vide. It is but it's, that's delicious, but that's more. So you're like me. I, I like. I'm not as. I'm not. I'm now like swirl that around. Mm -hmm. But I like the, the structure. And let's put the right. lid on. It this is one very when you're delicious. Done. But then when you put the stuff in it that you like, mm -hmm. you and put everything. and you put some of this. I in can't it. imagine that. that it would is be. like a pie. <gasps> I mean, you, it's like a cream pie. That it's, would get you over. Sometimes any. the rough patches, yes, you know what any, I'm saying? Any rough Because I've been on, um, I've been, matter of fact, April 27th will be my third year. Oh, good. Congratulations. Third an keto anniversary. Keto anniversary. But, uh, I know, right? Okay. Just some. Totally different. Just some English toffee. Now, put and a little. I love that. Put I a little eggnog in with that. In or eggnog. Oh, the eggnog. Wow. Will the kick it, or the salted caramel. And this is good for your intestinal health, the gut, because this is the super gut uh, recipe. It's the El Ruderai, it's the El Caseri, and it's the El Cassi. That's very good. I know. Yeah, it is. It's, 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 I, I would eat it all day long. That's why he gets mad when he Don't only you gets know, four for, ounces. For myself, mm -hmm. when you've been off of sugar right, for a long right. time, but it, satisfies 
But it, it does. doesn't take much for me. I don't. I could really. I don't overdo this, yeah. right? And that's. And I'm I think good. It's so rich yeah. and creamy. It's got the creaminess of it, it the, and so the fat good. in it. And then if you put keto chow in it, you're getting a meal. Right. This is really delicious. So. Mm. I'm glad you like it. It is really delicious. I'm so, not just saying it. Well, good. Good, good, good. But mm. you can go ahead and take those with you. I'm so glad that I brought my cooler bag. Good. Because you know all of us. Um, and then put some yeah, of this sure when you get, you know, yeah, take a right teaspoon one. at a time and put mm. some in. With Do you have stevia or anything? I have monk fruit with okay, me. Okay, good. Perfect. Because you need that little bit of sweetener. Wonderful. But that is delicious. Absolutely. It really is. It's delicious. Okay, you can put those in there. But I just wanted to get, Thank and you. I feel so bad I didn't even think about it when we met Teresa, you know, about the yogurt until she said something. So I'm so happy you said, and maybe some yogurt. If you had any left. If you, you had any left. Oh. And I did, because I made. She, she watches me like a... <laughs> Well, I'm making it now for my daughter and her dog, who's having intestinal issues, mm -hmm. and they both eat it. And I said, give it to Pixie every day. And then my girlfriend, Shelly, came over, and now she's all, she's she's like, I have to get a sous vide. I love it. That you know? is absolutely so, delicious. So your anniversary is April. So can you put the ice on top of that for now? Oh, sure. Um, here, just you can just put this in the. Um, just stick it in there for me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can oh, put them all you. in there. Thank yep. you. Keep it cold. Yep. Keep thank you. And then cold. I have a, I have the at the hotel, but then okay. I, have a, I have a cooler bag. No problem. Because it goes back to Texas tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so, here, put it on that chair. So, tell me about how you found keto three years ago. What prompted you to? What happened? Well, three years ago, I had tried Weight Watchers. And um, for those that might not be familiar with Weight Watchers, every day you do really, really good. You get a blue dot okay. on your app. Okay. And so for eight and a half months, I got a blue dot. Oh, awesome. I did not cheat. I weighed and measured my food. I was totally, perfectly. Um, and I lost three and three-fourths pounds in eight and a half months. I played that game, too, and I just couldn't. And it's a, it's a wonderful program for those it that it works for. I'm not... It would be a great one to, uh, if you wanted to maintain yes. your weight. Mm -hmm because you noticed that you didn't lose or gain weight, really. You oh, stayed within a certain length of time. Maintained, but it, you know, I was hungry all the Were time. Were you? Okay. I was starving all the time. And I would go to bed at night and my stomach would growl. And, and I started um, about 240 pounds. Okay. Right now, I'm at 185. -ish. That's awesome. When I left Texas, I was 185, so <laughs> <laughs> it could could be a little, you know, somewhere between right. 185, around 185. But um, I had a hiccup. I actually, my goal was 165, so I found keto. I just researched, and I remember years and years ago going on Atkins. Right. And I remembered it. It worked for me. So I. Uh, research Atkins and then it turned into keto and that's when keto I think was just really getting, getting very hot, popular. Hot, hot, hot. Mm -hmm. It was the hot where to go. Because all I heard about keto was that people eat sticks of butter and I'm not a big, you know, right. I, I've never been a big fat eater and right. I still don't do a lot of fat. But I said I'm going to try this again because I have to, My so my husband is an evangelist and I live in a hotel most of the year. So you are traveling, traveling all the time. I if I if I can do keto, anyone can do keto because I'm very seldom in my home, and so I take food with me in my car. I just and I needed something. Number one, I didn't have to buy. Number two, that I can eat anywhere, go any restaurant. And, and find something I could eat. And it really just, it just worked. It worked for me. And so I, my goal was 165 pounds because I'm five foot six and you know. Uh, 
I got within three pounds of my goal, and we, we have also a lot of other things in common. Okay. Um, my uh, dad got sick. Oh. And so I began that journey, and he passed away recently. And I, it, I, I was still keto, but I wasn't eating right. So you can do keto, but not do it right. Right. And still gain weight because I was hit and missing meals. Sure. But um, and I totally understand. I that. creeped up and also didn't exercise because I was driving three hours right. to the nursing home and three hours back. It's a mental thing because you're going stress, back and forth. Stress. Oh, and sure. Then some and days, cortisol. Some days I'd I'd discover it would be I I would drive the three hours one way, then I'd be driving back and I'd I'd realize that I hadn't ate that day because I was working at the time and all, and so. I gained back uh, almost 20 pounds, but my dad recently passed away, and now I feel like I'm just coming out. Grief affects people differently. I thought I was ready. I thought I was strong. No, uh, and there's little things that it hit you. It it hits me. It does. And I'm an emotional eater, very bad. I just admit it. Uh, And I'd find myself eating when I wasn't hungry. Even though it was keto, or are we eating our feelings? And I gained, I gained back about almost 20 pounds, but I'm now I'm back on, you know, coming out of that fog. Even though I, I would never say I was depressed, but just grief is a natural, it is. a natural and it's process. An, and it is. And there's things we have to go through. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you're part of that estate and dealing with dealing closure with, on all of those doors. I totally related to everything. Totally related. Uh, I'm blessed to have a, a wonderful brother that was very supportive, and his wife, just my sister-in-law, mm-hmm. if I call her. But, but it's still a lot. It's still a lot. And knowing that that I lost my mom three years ago, and it was like back to back. Right. Uh, and so now I just now, the last just the last few weeks, feel it like I'm ready to refocus. Right. Again. On you. Mm-hmm. It's I get, okay. I totally you, understand you know, that. Um, but it is a very big challenge traveling as an as an, a minister because um, when when we go to like Phoenix, this wonderful church that we're at today, right? They want to take you to the thank finest. you. <laughs> and um, th- when we arrived at the hotel suite, they had this huge basket of every goodie, every snack, every huge baskets. And both churches that we were here, big, huge baskets of wonderful things, you know, but um, I just give that all to my grandkids. Or right, and that, that works well, it. too. Is your mm-hmm. husband keto as well? He He's a little bit like Harry that he doesn't mind eating what I cook him, and I love to cook. So when I'm home, we never eat it. Right. Because well, that's what you do all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Yeah. And he's happy with whatever. You get to do what you want to do the way you want to do it at My home. My husband has always been slender. He's never had a weight issue. Um, but he's he's happy to eat whatever I cook for him. And he, uh, but when he is, when I do not cook keto, he'll mm-hmm. eat whatever, you mm-hmm. know. But he's very supportive. My husband's very supportive. So you eat out all the time. All the so time. where are your go-to places? Do you have some go-to places when you get into town? You look for like a Wendy's, a Baconator, a mm. hamburger. What are you more inclined to get? You Give us an idea. Cities a lot. Uh, we've. It's been four years since we've been here, but but hopefully. That was, you know, since right. all that other. So we might be back in a year or so mm-hmm. if we get to come back. Let me know. I will. <laughs> I will. It'll be so great to see each other at golf. Yes, there at we go. We get there you go. Other on. But uh, we, I know Cracker Barrel menu, but like my back of my hand. But, you know, their <laughs> big chef salads, their salads Well, are what awesome. I order there, they have a hickory chicken uh, with bacon and cheese, Ooh. but you get them to hold the sauces. Oh yeah, sauces so and are that are that's two big huge chicken breasts. So wow. we actually share it. Okay, and I get a salad or green beans. Yeah, the 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 
bad thing about eating out all the time is the oils. I, yes. You know, I, and the hidden sugars <laughs> that in the in the spices that they use. You don't even know because some of it you can't taste. The truth is, I know that's the fact because the truth is when I'm home using my avocado oil mm -hmm. and I love to cook like you every I love to experiment but I lose weight yeah when I'm gone if I'm perfect perfect keto I still will not it was the year of with my mom and having to eat out all the time and hitting it it's like <sighs> you get to a mental fog where it's like he's going we need to eat we're just gonna pull in and eat we're yes. gonna eat and it's like you're just at the mercy of the restaurant. You can ask them a million questions. Mm. Even when you ask about the olive oil, um. it's the processed olive oil. It's the olive oil that ha it has olive oil in it, but it's the mixture. It's the they're not going to spend the money no. on the 100% no. virgin no. olive oil unless you go to a super upscale or a super, you know, the, where like they do have the grass fed. Yes, you know, it's that kind of a thing. Yeah, I get a lot it. of times, it depends on the restaurant. Uh, I will, I'll have my little cooler bag, mm -hmm. and I take my carry go. Yep. I'll take my heavy cream. Yep. I'm not a. Sh I'm not nope. embarrassed. And don't be because mm -hmm. Paula does the same thing. We do the same. I have. I pulled this out of my purse. I got yes. my salt. Anything. We used to carry my carry go butter. I mean, I had a. a yeah. He called it my Mary Poppins. <laughs> Hey, yes, because he'd go, to, uh, you know, I forgot to ask for butter. Oh, I got that. Well, my right? husband calls mine my Felix the cat. Oh, uh, now yes. you have to be no Felix the cat. Sixty yes, to understand I do. Felix the cat. Yes, I get I'm it. Maybe aging. Yes, showing yes, her yes. age a little bit. Rightio. <laughs> right. But so now, tell me. So you're back on track. Yes. So what are, tell me some of the things that you like to eat. Are you more, um, I hate the word dirty keto and lazy keto because I don't think you're, relaxed. it's dirty or relaxed, relaxed at all, you know, because you're at the mercy of I the have to be. I have to be relaxed keto because of the of, traveling. Of, but so many times I'll put, I'll, when I know that I feel, and it's amazing after you've been on keto for a couple of years. Your body will tell you when you've had something that was not oh, really he good. he is really sensitive yeah. to that. So say we went to Denny's mm -hmm. and I had two eggs, two sausage links, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and that's what I had, but the, the butter. Mm -hmm. Then so that day, like we're, we, we're two days out and we're on the road, I'll say, honey, Pull over to that grocery store. I'll go in and I'll get boar's head meats, yeah. turkey or, or, or roast beef. Mm -hmm. I'll get some cheese and I'll just make some roll-ups. You and know? have them. And yeah. uh, that's what I'll do. And and I and it's amazing. The next day you feel better. Oh yeah, you, you do. Better. No, I absolutely no, I agree ask, with you. What's your favorite roll-up that you make? When you go into a store, what are you looking for? Oh, for the boar's head, I, well, I like the smoked uh, turkey, mm -hmm. and I'll do the um, Colby Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Colby That's Jack good. cheese, and I have them slice it extra thin uh, because I try not to overdo cheese. Right. And and whatever, but but it fills me up and it keeps me full. That's why I was so hungry on Weight Watchers all the time. I was always hungry because I don't think I had enough protein. It, it isn't yeah. because the, most of the meals, even with uh, Jenny, the, the prepackaged meals mm -hmm. for me, they had they were all carbs. I mean, they were pasta oh, dishes. Yeah. Yes. And you can have all the vegetables and salad you want. Mm -hmm. But where's the meat? Where's the protein part of it? And I think that's a huge mm -hmm. issue. And what the points are, if I remember, because it's been a really long time, protein goes fast really well on the points. So oh, you don't, yes. if you're going to have meat, red meat, I was going to say, if you're oh, going to have meat, you might there, as well forget about your points because there goes, there goes everything. Points, yeah. yeah, so you're mm -hmm. not as apt to eat. So like today, we were at this very, very nice restaurant in the Phoenix area. And... Uh, their specialty is prime rib. Ooh. And I almost got prime rib, but it was like a big piece of prime rib. And 
my, I just don't eat that much. Now, if I was home, I'd have taken it home with sure. me to eat later. But I, I settled on the salmon, and they had asparagus, Ooh. and I got a tossed salad. Nice. And it was del delicious, and I couldn't even eat it all. It was such a big portion. And that's my problem, is I have a problem eating a large meal. And so mm -hmm. doing an OMAD for me, and I'm, I'm full. I mean, I, I just think that if I had another meal, I'd be getting a better macros in because I, on an OMAD, people will leave a comment and say, you're not eating enough or you're not eating enough meat or... I, I did have a question, if, yes. if I may ask a question. Absolutely. It perplexes me that you guys stay so on point but yet you're not in ketosis sometimes. I, and I don't understand I don't that. either. It's almost like, whew, I might as well forget it. If, if well, Wendy's not, not in ketosis, not how can really, I? Not really, because yeah. if you're exercising, you know you're going to be using those too. Mm -hmm. That's why pea sticks don't work after a while. Mm -hmm. Because what you're doing in the beginning when you're changing over, you're spilling off ketosis. And you're, you're spilling ketones that you're not utilizing. Mm. And I remember Atkins a long time ago when my mom yes. did it, or when I did it, her pea stick never got purple. Oh, Because she did it. not have the ketones. But if you listen to the different doctors, they'll say, you know, you're burning your ketones, you know. But then sometimes, like when I did my first 72 hour fast, oh. I had big ketones. I was like 2.1, yeah. yeah, I was, it was like 1.5. It was like, woohoo, but then my <laughs> glucose, was way up. I mean, way up, like 200. Like oh, he, I didn't know he it said to me, "How can you have I a 2.1 and have glucose that high?" And I said, "Well, I just got through working out. I worked out twice that day. I think I went to the gym in the morning, and I went to uh, Tai Chi in the afternoon. I came home and did that. And I'm thinking that if your muscles hold glycogen, and I'm mm. doing muscle training with my right. with, I mean, she's putting me through the ringer with the with the weights." Because that's all I do with her is weight training. Um, then I must be spilling it. But I'm concerned because I've been up and I want to go. It's time for me to go to my doctor and get my blood work up. Mm -hmm. It's free to me, so I don't need to order anything myself. I just need a doctor's prescription, and I need to get my thyroid checked. Um, I get that checked all the time. And I'm going to ask him about doing my A1C again. My A1C was 5.4. And see, I have an underactive thyroid. Okay. And so I know. And from all the years of yo-yo dieting, right. my metabolism is... So if I had a question, if you could help me with... Sure. How does one heal their metabolism? By eating keto. By, okay. by working that way. And then you need to find out... With your blood work up and stuff, like mm -hmm. your thyroid, you need to keep on top of that. Oh, my blood work is book perfect, my everything. Okay. Everything. I just had a checkup not long ago, and it was perfect. I'm still going through that, healing my metabolism from having a lap band for 14 years and having it almost rub through my throat wow. and having it atrophy closed, shrink, down to where I was had a 3 millimeter opening. Wow. The lap band was 11 millimeters around. So that was the widest it ever was. And I had it shrank down to, and it was sawing a hole in my, in my, my throat. My very, my very best friend that lives in San Antonio had a lap band and it slipped. Yes, and mine was slipped and, she, and did it. She, yep. The doctor told her if she was hours away from death. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So I do realize yeah. it's what you're It's dangerous, about. and I mean, I, I, I ruined my metabolism. I'm healing so mine from 14 years. Went through that, yes. and I know I know you know a lot about natural healing right. and natural herbs and things. And I'm thinking, well, maybe Wendy will have insight to. I wish I had a magic I, I mean, wand. It takes me like what most people to lose weight. It takes me double effort. Well, that's me too. Double I was eating effort. five to eight hundred calories for 14 years and lost 56 pounds. Wow. Wow. That was something else, and she's not lying. I lost yeah. 50 That's pounds at, from the time I had my lap, lap band removed till now, learning how to eat up to now around 1,200 calories. Te training my body 
to eat the food and be okay with the food. And it's hard for me because if you ever eat with me, you're going to go, will she ever be done? Because I eat no, slow. That's good. Though. Because I've had to with my lap band. Why? So, you know, it's, it's, it's all about that kind of a thing. And I think all of us, as we get older, have an issue with our bodies not metabolizing the food, not utilizing the proteins. Yes. You know, like like it should, because when we were younger, all the things we did and yeah. the sad diet Fresh that we were diet. raised yes, on yes, and all, of that. all that stuff. And I just think, like I tell everybody, eating the same thing at the same time every single day, your body is a perfect instrument and it's going to start, you can rev it up for a while. Even mm -hmm. exercising, my um, trainer was telling me that this guy comes in and he does the same thing every single time but he never loses any weight she told him you to you're not it. doing anything but that it. you get on a treadmill for yeah. two hours every day and then what do you do you, you go and change. eat yeah. what are you eating are you working out are you lifting weights are you doing your legs are you doing mm -hmm. your upper body and that's why i hired a trainer to help me keep me she will do something one day, the next mm -hmm. time we do a wholly different part of the body, and then the next time we'll do something totally different. Because if you do the same thing all the time, here's your body. Yes. It's very happy just to stay right there. So doing, That's why she does a lot I do of like the challenges, challenges for 30 see, days and not gonna go over 90 on this and old that, man. It helps, I just want you to know that it's, there's so many good, you don't see all of us. We're right. out there scattered across the nation. What an inspiration you and Harry are to all of us because we think, if they can do it, I can do it. Well, thank you. I and appreciate that is, it. Is, is, I'm not alone. I don't feel alone. Uh, I feel like she's lost her mom. She knows what I'm going through. She's She didn't go eat. A cheeseburger, I mean a water burger, well I'm saying burger, but <laughs> right. a real burger with a bun. Uh, yeah, no. Or you didn't go eat a triple decker ice cream. I don't know what real ice cream, real cake, real bread, potatoes taste like because I ought, God knows that I'm saying the truth. I have not had one bite of See, any of those that, things. That is amazing. Because is amazing. I know how to make it keto. Yeah. Yeah. I know where I can go to a shop that has keto stuff mm -hmm. or the Quest product. If I want a cookie and I don't make it, I can go to and get a Quest chocolate chip cookie. And, and that's know the that beauty it, of keto. Yes, it, that it, is it may not be the best ingredients. Right. It may not be, but if I need a chocolate chip cookie, right? Yes. Or I'm going to go eat a whole cake. I'm going to go get a chocolate chip cookie and, and I'm not going to look back. And let me say also, that is so encouraging because I also, like Harry, love my Coke Zero every now and then. I just, I just have to have one. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it doesn't, I don't feel a bump in the road at all. But not that you need to go out there and drink them all the time. But And I can't because I'm highly allergic to aspartame. I have grand mal seizures. I cannot yeah. have it. It's poison to me. It, I haven't had real soda pop. Other than a Zevia and since night, well, yes, you have real as in Coke Zero, Coke Zero, do Diet you guys Coke, still do, Diet Pepsi. Do, do your Zevias? He does. I quit taking. I, I haven't quit, said anything I quit. about it. I'm going to be stopping everything. Oh yeah, Harry, you need to turn the cam. You need to turn the camera on you. Oh, well, I don't have a thing that can't hear me. <laughs> oh, okay. You need to explain. It. But this has got to go. He's gained uh, right in his stomach, and he thinks it's the sugar, the, the oh. artificial sweeteners. He was doing, Harry was doing rain. What was before rain? What are the, the uh, oh, energy? Just started with a B. Bangs, 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 yes. And I can't do those because they have aspartame. I haven't ever And he changed to rain. And when he was doing that, okay. and I was doing a ton of skinny syrup, it crept up, and I was using more and more and more of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I got rid of skinny syrup. Yeah, I, I cut that out. I only use my stevia, and it's funny because this 90 days, my coffee, because I'm on a 24-hour and my um, one-hour eating window, mm -hmm. I'm drinking my coffee with four drops of stevia in it, black. You've cut back. I that have, much. yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. I always had to I have. The taste is sweet. I, I told my husband, I said, I'd like to wear, I don't even want 
the taste of sweet. Now, see, I need sweet. I, I need but sweet in yet. my I'm, life. I'm not yet. I need it, especially I'm, I'm an emotional yet. eater. Uh, and, but if I can have, like, my yogurt with some oh, keto chow and, yes. and sweetener in that, or I can't, I need to be able to go back to making ice cream. My mom loved keto chow ice cream. Oh, we lost weight oh. on keto chow. And I... I we have not been able to make it yet. A lot of times when y'all, because you just call it ice cream. We I'm do, thinking, it's ice cream. Oh, people that are watching knows this is not <laughs> real ice cream. You should, I, know, I right? say, tell them, Wendy, <laughs> tell them it's that? not real ice cream. I can hear people yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, you say it ice is. <laughs> I know, I got I to gotta remember that when we do, but it's very hard to, for some things because mom would come over and I'd cook for her. Mm -hmm. And she loved ice cream. Oh, she, she was so precious. She loved the ice cream. And my mom crocheted like your mom. Oh, did so she? So there was so much, yeah. So she, she was my mom loved the chopples. Oh my gosh, she <laughs> loved yeah. chop. We ate a lot more chopples when mom was there. The banana, the salted caramel, mm -hmm. she Chopper. loved those. She was a, she would eat like a bird, but when oh. I gave her her little bowl of ice cream, so it precious. would be gone. So if I precious. would give her her little one egg and her two little chopples, they would be gone. Oh, so, I precious. mean, she loves it. So those were some things that it's a fond memory for me, but it's a bittersweet thing for me too. It's been too cold for ice cream, although you did mention. I did. I mentioned it today. I go. He did. Okay, we're gonna get towards the hot months. I gotta have ice cream. He goes. I got my chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> oh, you got me chocolate Thank peanut butter. Thank you for sharing. Thank you it's for like, sharing. Oh, you gotta try it out. I cannot the wait. Where, I'll let you guys know. Where we're coming from. I'll you, let you guys make know. Make my three-minute ice cream. If you have, do you have a Vitamix or a I do, high high? I do not. Okay. That's why. And you know, I'm thinking. I have just the small mixer, one, like the it, yeah, you know, like your red one, yeah, yeah. your red mixer. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if that whip would be. I enough. don't think it would. I don't yeah, think so. It so wouldn't. I'm like when when we slow down a little bit there hopefully you go. next year they say and that's what i i, I do or get a too. creamy a ninja creamy oh. everybody loves those oh, okay. and the only reason why i don't have it is because i can whip my stuff up in 30 i mean oh, three yeah. minutes i don't need to wait overnight for the stuff to get hard yeah. <laughs> so i can whip it into ice cream you know oh, i can just go in so and make delicious. it delicious it's like <gasps> if i could taste on the lens and it, it is uh, and it, it we're we're doing a, a shake but we're making it in ice cream form. And it is, you get a monster bowl of it. Oh, you get a pound and a half. Yeah, I mean, it's just oh, wow. monster. Why yeah, go yeah. and spend $7 for a and pint that you get a quarter of? Yeah. And my question was, does that really keep you full? Oh, yes, it till, does. Till not, that, oh, yes, it does. Do you, do you feel that the on OMAD that you're getting yeah. enough? Um, poke enough of all your macros. Um, that, that's another thing. If I, I, I did OMAD a few, like a right. week or so, but I felt kind of weak, like it wasn't. My I challenge wasn't. is with my smaller stomach, and I, yeah. I end up leaving half my food. I'd say the third of oh, the I food. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> He's the cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so I would rather do a, a two mad day. I think I get more protein in yeah. because I, when you have to try to eat it all in one meal too, that sh I just, I can't eat past a certain, I can't stuff myself. And see, I, I cannot used do to, that. 14 nope. years of my stomach. But I think, I told my husband yesterday, I think, I know I'm getting a little older because I used to eat two heaping plates, a big plate, right. Texas gal serving right. the food. And and then I, you know, went to one plate and now sharing sharing a plate yeah. of food, I said, I always kind of We always teased share. and made fun of older folks sharing mm -hmm. our hamburgers. Yeah, right. Thank you. I'm that's enough. We share know. it all the time because I said, says, I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I, yeah, yeah uh, there's like oh, are you gonna eat oh, and he's the oh, are you gonna eat that <laughs> eat what honey that <laughs> you know are you gonna eat that well, or he'd be sitting there just kind of watching and I'm going all right what it's like I, nothing I, nothing I'll go what and he goes well okay are you gonna eat that <laughs> you know kind of a thing I love the casserole and I hope in the future you do more recipes similar I know you have before right but that is something that I do and it's so easy and I try to explain that to people right let me tell you one of my other easy 
that you might like. Okay. Uh, you might already do this, I'm not sure, but I take a couple of chicken breasts and put them in a, I have a little small crock pot, mm -hmm. and then I'll take, I'll take one can of coconut, unsweetened coconut milk, and shake it. And then I'll put like a tablespoon of curry oh, seasoning. Oh, I love yeah. chicken the seasoning curry. Right. Is, and then uh, cream cheese. Oh. And I, and I eat I eat off of that, you know, I keep it. We loved food. Indian food, and I especially when we were vegan and vegetarian because we had an Indian uh, restaurant close to us that mm -hmm. that's what they were. Um, they were Sikh, and they everything there was that, and I miss Indian food, but it can get super complicated. I have cookbooks. Oh, so that is all, no, I just put a tablespoon. But the way you do yours. Mild, just, yes. And I buy it like at TJ Maxx. Right. It's in a, it's in a square glass jar it says uh, um, grand masala or no, is it no it just says uh, curry seasoning ah okay. so it's a mixture I guess okay. and it's kind of um, orangey look, orangey yellow look probably the the and turmeric it, in it, it is so good and it's not overpowering we have an mm -hmm. Indian store that also is an Indian restaurant on 7th mm -hmm. Street and they I could just spend all day in there the oh, herbs and the seasonings so get, and the smell when you're and, on keto for a long time <clears throat> And that's another thing I enjoy watching you. It gives me ideas how oh, well, I can cook. You. And it really is very helpful. Uh, you have to shake things up so you, you don't do. eat the same exact things all yep. the time. Because yep. on the road, my, my choices are limited, but I make it work. Oh, and thank you for telling us about this, the salts, the Redmond salts. Yes, so I ordered, yes. So that helps me travel. I love when that. When I travel, I take my, yeah, little, I my little windy yeah. thing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> chef's blend, man. Or, or Redmond, Redmond yeah, I like, uh, salt. I like the chef's blend. I think that's my favorite. Yeah, it is. You guys, Although you the that, cherry blend, blend yes. Blend I had the, the, and I use the seasoning salt most. Yeah. Yeah. Just for basic I just got cooking. my big one finally. I don't again. have, they were out of the cherry. Uh, yes whatever so I don't have that I just had the seasoning blend chef's spin and the chef's spin yeah, but I, I really it. enjoy those but you you inspire well thank you you know you probably think well here I am in Texas or I might be in California That's or true. I might be in I was in Washington and you said now you're said, going yeah I what, when are you doing this next oh, week Missouri uh, we're in uh, See, next week, Kansas. Kansas. Sunday. Ooh. Next Sunday. This time next Sunday, I'll be in Kansas. Then Missouri. And But we're all over all over the place. Just wherever. Well, so God if she us. can do it on oh, the road, you guys can do it on the road. We have a couple that are uh, truck drivers. Mm -hmm. Same thing. And they have mm -hmm. their cooler and yes. their plug-in refrigerator and all those mm -hmm. things. So... It, I really appreciate you sharing your information you. and asking me questions. It's funny because I told Harry, I said, it's so funny when I'm looking for something under the cupboard, I know somebody's going, it's in the bottom cupboard. Yeah, it's know. over to the left. Just lift up the red pot. And we know where, <laughs> know where stuff is. <laughs> it's like, okay, speak louder. I can't hear you, right? <laughs> anyway, you guys, we're going to wrap this segment up and we're just going to continue to talk and chat, but we'll see everybody in the next Bye. segment. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> hey, everybody. I am back from a great, great time with Robbie. Yes, indeed. In our interview, we're going to share our chat that we had with each other about our ketogenic journeys right here. We just had a great day, you guys, overall. It was absolutely wonderful. She brought me some beautiful flowers. Yes, she did. She tried out our yogurt, and uh, she loved it. Both are different. So I think she said she liked the sous vide best. I gave her some keto chow, too, because she's never tried it. Anyway, you guys, we had an absolutely wonderful day today. So I'm going to go ahead and close out our video today. Please remember, if you have not done so already, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell so that throws us out to the YouTube universe and you guys get notified every time there's a new YouTube, here you go, YouTube, you know, that we have uploaded a YouTube. Sorry, you ring the bell so you get notified every time there's a new YouTube. I saw Sally come running and I had to say hi. Can you say good night? Did you like... Robbie, did you like her? Yeah, she took some pictures. Okay, Harry, come back to me. 
because I want to remind you guys to please give us a thumbs up. Those are so important because it throws us out to the YouTube universe so other folks like you can find us. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Okay, I know. Did you have a good time? Yes, you did. You were so good. She had a good time. She got to meet Robbie. Yes, she did. You're saying carnivore, carnivore dog. Yep, you gotta have your carnivore dog. The end. <laughs>